already elbowing through. If I decide I know he likes the snow plow, I'm already getting that arm free. Right? This, this might be here just as a trick, but I, the deeper this arm is free, the easier it's going to be for me to explode and run. That arm's already looking for his leg. Right? I'm going to come through, go get that leg. All right? He's going to stuff out. Okay? Yep. Boom. He gets his shoulder in. Once his shoulder's here, right, his hand's going to come back to my elbow. My pyramid option's gone. Right? I'm already stuffed. I'm going to have to go from somewhere. Right? So I'm going to get to here. Get to my sprawl. First one I'm going to do, this bottom hand is going to open his gi, right? Second hand is going to come in front of his neck and grab a little loose, maybe chin-wise, thumb about even with his chin, right? So my fingers are in, okay? Opposite arm is going to pull his elbow away and then dive behind his head here. See that? Last piece, my head follows it. So it's just like a gator roll if you were... Uh, if you're in front head right for Greco, I'm going underneath that hand reaches through and I'm pulling my elbow to the ground Flatten out, lock the hand like that. And it's spinning circle choke Okay, so I stuff the head sprawl out Okay, hand comes back. I can either open my gi with this hand or that first one can just dive in It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, if you're too tight, you can't get all the way around Right, so a lot of times people won't react like they're in danger Right, because they feel the gi grip, but nothing's choking. They're thinking about how to escape as opposed to that they're in danger. Cool? So we get to that front head, I sprawl out, get my leg free, hand in, hand it to yourself if you need to. I like to pull on the elbow, you don't necessarily have to, I just want to make space to get in there. My head follows it, my arm goes behind, so he won't land on my head when I pull now, you see. This bottom or top leg, in this case, will thread the needle in order to square off, so we're making a cross out of our bodies, and then this hand is the one that does the choking. By walking forward. All right. I might pull a little bit with that second arm, but my elbow's on the ground, so there's not a lot of, not a lot of play. And just keep walking that hand through. Who's gonna finish again? Like last finishing that sequence? Yeah. You see that? Yeah. I'm gonna get a little closer here. Fall out. Pull. Spin. Right. The hand dies behind his head and outside of my arm. I'm not going underneath my own arm. It's staying on the back of his head. Right. That right elbow pulls. Lift my hips, thread the needle, and then I'm reaching through with my other hand. Okay, yep, just keep walking. Good.